Okay, good day to you guys. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm not sure what time it is. Let me check real fast. 11.24, so good morning. But I smell right now as we're going on our walk, burning trash. Now, it sounds disgusting to people who are not a part of the burning trash culture, but to me, it reminds me of home. My grandpa used to burn trash and my uncle and it had this distinct smell. So it reminds me of back in the days, even the last time I went back home and I smelled that, it was pretty bomb. So I'm excited. It's a weird thing to be excited about. But have you ever had that smell that takes you back to your childhood? That would be that smell, one of the smells. That and dial soap. <laughs> the, the gold dial soap. <laughs> Two things that take me back to my childhood. I'm allergic to that shit, but she was steady using it. <laughs> But all right, we will check. Oh, you got anything to say? I love this walk. And being on this side of the fence, you get to see what's going on up the street from your house, which is nice. <laughs> I guess that's it. Yeah, it looks different on this yeah. side. So yeah. they got barns and stuff, and you know, horses yeah, right but like what? Five minutes behind us walking yeah. so it's yeah. totally different you go from this new development to something that's been here already and they have these big massive backyards that I'm like super jealous of because mine is like a freaking coffin compared to that but let's be real I don't want to maintenance that shit so <laughs> it's fine that I have a little tiny yard I got a tiny dog to fit in my tiny yard and I'm cool with it as long as it can fit a table the bigger house you got the more maintenance you got to do no I'm into tiny living trust and believe and when my kids do just you hear this bird huh? um, <laughs> and when my kids do decide to like pack up their lives and leave me if they ever do if they don't I'm fine with it but I'm still gonna get a tiny living situation. A bus or something that I'm gonna convert so we could travel, all of us, if they wanna come. That looks nice. Yeah. Some people keep up their houses. Yeah. That's awesome, because it's an investment. Always keep up your home, because, um, you know, when you wanna sell it, people ain't gonna want a junkyard now. No, we've seen some places when we jump, we were trying to look for homes. It looked like they didn't care. Yeah. They trashed our house. In yeah, California. the second house that we looked at when we came out here. Nah. They junked it up. The sides were like broken off and stuff yeah. like that. They didn't do any maintenance to their At home. All. Then yeah, they had the nerve there. to ask for almost identical price of the house that I got. So, I think well not identical. It's probably like I think it was 134, and we paid one. Uh, 45 I want to say 141, yeah it was 141 and then there were some fees so, <laughs> yeah. but yeah I think you know we tried to make a good decision I don't regret getting a new construction because I wouldn't be able to have um, people fixing stuff yeah, exactly. right now that was broke down uh, without it so let me continue on because I said I was going to stop talking a while ago and I kept talking. But this is our second day walking and I'm pretty happy about that. I woke this dude up and yeah. was like, let go. He's not regretting it though. You have regrets that you came out with me? No, no. It's, See? It's always the hardest part is getting up and moving. That's and the easiest part for me. That's the hardest part for me. He sees me springing motivated. up out of the bed like, let go. So, yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. Okay. Mm, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not crazy. Nope, you're not. So, yeah. And I'm hearing it again. Okay. So, we're at Banfield getting um, a wolf check for his ear, which we think um, almost positively he has a ear infection. They took him back and they're going to clip his nails. Cytology costs $34 or whatever, and then his nail clipping. And, um,. Yeah, so we're gonna just wait for him. He's been not, he had a really bad panic attack, so I feel bad for him that he has to go through this. I don't know how long they're gonna take. Yeah, hopefully not too much longer. And you know, he's, he wants to get on and out of here. He's not a fan of doctors at all, neither one of us are. You know, he's a good dog. He just doesn't like doctors. He doesn't like anybody poking and prodding on him. That's Who would? I've been through it myself. Who would? Yeah. <laughs> 
so I hope that it's fast. But you hear some other dog back there getting mad, and then I saw a dog out here that was triggering wolf. He is getting on the same meds as me and the Gamma Pentin. So yeah, they're prescribing it for people and dogs. Everybody's getting it. You get Gamma Pentin. You get Gamma Pentin. So, <laughs> but yeah, the dog looked like he went through it. They didn't close his wound. They said let it air out. I don't know if that's healthy or not, but yeah, you know I'm not a doctor. I'm a veterinarian. I'm not gonna judge them, but I'm judging them secretly. So, <laughs> I feel like at least right after they should cover it, and then after a few hours, like, you know, I mean, that's just me, that's just me. And we also, we don't know what happened to what's what I don't care, I heard wound, okay? I don't care, shit. <laughs> so, yeah, we just have to trust these people with our pets. I need him to have a holistic doctor, that's all I'm saying. They get a lot of drugs. His liver could be affected too, just like my liver, okay? We can all have liver issues, so I need a holistic vet and a holistic doctor for myself. Because this, yeah, they're trying to kill us out in these streets. They're trying to kill our pets, and they're trying to kill us. In the name of getting us better, they give us drugs that make us worse. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Whoop! But he's back. We have to get the results and see what's good. But he's just happy to be out of their care. Yes. <laughs> he's a little leader. I know. Like she's nothing, like she's yeah. Nothing enough. So I guess it's a feel. He got his ear packed for his infection. So now he's like something foreign is in my ear. Oh. Yeah. He's trying to take it out. Spread. Take two. You guys don't know it's take two, but it's take two. Um, I'm walking these laps around um, the this little park by my home, and um, so three laps equal one mile. I'm gonna do six laps so I can do two miles, and then go home and clean and do all the boring stuff after that. But um, so far so good. As long as I get out and do something every single day I can hopefully recuperate from what's been going on with me I've been taking all the 50,000 supplements every day and so far I don't know if, I'm scared to not take them because I don't know if they're helping or not so I'm just gonna keep doing it I gotta replenish a couple but uh, I'm gonna keep with it cuz it's not hurting me to take vitamins it's just you know what I mean and plus, if you don't eat a lot of meat, supposedly, you don't be getting these vitamins. So, I don't know how true that is, but I have a lot of vitamins in my vegan protein shakes. So, yeah, I'm trying not to fall and bust my R while I'm doing this. Even though it would be a funny clip if I did fall, because Lord knows I enjoy stuff like that. I mean, if the person doesn't get hurt, you know what I mean? But... I'm always falling and tripping so there's a good chance it'll be on camera at some point especially with me holding it and trying to walk you know I ain't one of those people what do they say you can't walk and chew gum that would be me so yeah I almost fell that time anyways I hope you guys are having a wonderful what is today Wednesday um, it's pretty out here as you can see I mean not maybe the dirt but the sky is pretty it's pretty warm I think it's 53 uh, right now so it's pretty warm for what it's been lately and I'm excited about that it's supposed to be in the 60s um in a couple days so I'm excited who knew this girl would be excited for it warming up if y'all know me in real life you know I hate the heat no I can't do heat all right guys so i finished my stuff and anyways um i finished my walk i did three point let me check 3.13 miles um the thing i was going to talk to you guys about earlier was battery drainers and that's something that i had to be aware of it's people or things in your life that drain your energy and as i'm trying to heal i notice that i am like more aware of the things that drain my battery the other day i had a conversation with uh one of my friends and I didn't leave the conversation feeling renewed. I actually left the conversation feeling like, what the F? So, um, as I had sat there and pondered through the things that we had talked about during this conversation, a lot of it left me feeling like, um, 
I wasn't accepted for the person that I am standing where I am in this moment. I also felt dismissed, which I had been feeling a lot since I had started this whole process with the doctors and everything like that. So I ended up, um, you know, during the conversation, I did address these things, but it was very dismissive. If I didn't agree with what this person had said, they were very dismissive of my feelings. So I was like, oh, okay, you know what I mean? And then I realized that I make excuses for people that I care about. Even though they don't care about my feelings in the moment, I was making excuses for them. So I was like, oh, this person's probably not feeling well. They're going through a lot at this time, but that doesn't give you the right to sit up there and make somebody else feel bad because you're feeling bad as well. And in my life, when I'm feeling bad, I don't take it, I try not to take it out on other people. Now, I may not be 100% success, ugh, successful at it, but if somebody points it out to me that I made them some type of, feel some type of way, then I definitely would apologize because, and not be like, well, too bad, you know what I mean? So definitely pay attention to what drains your battery in your life, you know what I mean? When you are doing activities, are they giving you joy or are they taking joy? When you are around people, do you leave that place leaving worse than you came in or do you feel better? Uh, you know, I do have a friend that I talk to regularly and every time I'm talking to this person, I feel so happy and renewed and like, it, you know, I, it's a good day even if it was a bad day. So I just wanted to put out there that you have to make sure that you're paying attention to the people around you in your life that renew you and those that make you feel drained because some people I mean they're honestly energy drainers and it's fine that's their life you know what I mean but don't come to me and drain my energy as well so just pay attention to that stuff because it definitely does affect you as a person and it does make you feel some type of way you know as a person so look out for that stuff it's okay to um limit your time with those people or just x them out completely i have learned in my new life because i am new <laughs> that you know i just have to x out people that are not benefiting my life and unfortunately anybody can get it you know friends family or whatever if i feel that i am not being treated properly i'm not being renewed by your energy and i'm being drained by you then you can get it you know what i'm saying chop chop for 2019 for me because honestly i keep everybody i just kind of avoid people People, you know what I'm saying like you just I won't pick up your phone calls but you know it's not always intentional I'm just a person that when I'm going through stuff I don't like to put that energy on people because much like in this conversation I had with the person I spoke about previously just because I was going through something I didn't want to take it out on somebody else so I kind of remove myself and I you know until I feel better and I can come back because I hate being the person that's draining the energy but you know like a lot of people pointed out in my life they're there for me to talk to and stuff like that but I just feel bad when I'm in that complaining mode, when I'm not feeling good, when something's going wrong in my life and my relationship or whatever, and I'm just not feeling positive enough to come and talk to somebody in a positive way. I don't like being that person. So I usually avoid speaking to people at that point in time because I'm like, you know what? I'm going to end up draining your energy with my negative energy and bad juju that's going on with me. I don't want you to feel that way. But also a person can help you during those times renew your own energy by talking it out and I'm just not very good at communicating those types of things I mean I just when things bother me I'm usually like let me just like suck it in or something like that because I don't want to be like taking it out on people of course you know my husband gets it here and there but you know I don't like taking it out on people um, it just it doesn't seem fair that if you're having a bad day that you can come take it out on somebody that had nothing to do with that bad day which is what me and a friend of mine were talking about the other day we were just like you know I posted something on Instagram and it was pretty much like you know her man goes to work and he's smiling for all these people and then he comes home and he's a complete ass so um, she was saying lie to me too, you know what I'm saying? It was between James Baldwin and I cannot think of her name. But anyways, it's a very old video because she referred to the people, you know, in a way that's from back in the day. But anyways, um, so the point was, she was like, listen, I want that same courtesy and not technically to lie to the person, but you know, treat me well too, you know what I mean? You, you don't have the right to come in and treat me bad when I didn't do anything. You just had a bad day at work and you spent your whole day all your, giving all your good energy to these people and faking all your energies to me. Well, do me the courtesy every now and again too. So 
that's what we were talking about i'm not necessarily a person that's good at hiding my emotions but um i know how to push them to the side for the betterment of someone else because i don't want to have my energy affect them and if i feel like it's going to affect them then i remove myself so all i'm saying is pay attention to those that don't care about your energy enough to either push their feelings aside or you know address the situation like yo i'm feeling bad today i'm not feeling all that hot and i don't want to take this out on you so you know don't be an avoidance person like me where you just don't pick up the phone because you're feeling crappy i'm trying to learn that in my new life also being away from people that really love me you know what i'm saying really made me think like yo i need to open up more but a lot of people <laughs> i don't open up to them they think i open up to them but i can tell a lot of personal details that are not personal to me they're not like you know so i can say things to you that make you think i'm open to you but i'm not really being all that open to you the person that i'm open with is the person that i actually share my emotions with in that moment raw unfiltered uncut and i can shed a tear or two in front of you you know what i'm saying so that's me but in this moment where i'm at where i stand where i'm living all that stuff is making me reflect on the person that i've been in my past to people that really genuinely love me care about me and i just want to be a better person for everybody around me and i want everybody around me to have better people around them so that they feel good as well because who needs energy drainers in their lives you know I definitely don't I'm definitely a person that needs like to be renewed a lot I feed a lot off of people's energy when they're around me so when somebody's feeling some type of way I could feel that say say my husband comes home from work and he's had a bad day I automatically can feel it before he even opens his mouth and I'm like yo what's wrong with you because whatever energy he brings to me i feel that energy before he comes to me before he's in my face i can feel it coming through the door so a lot of times either i can feel renewed by him or drained by him um here lately we've been kind of draining each other because things have been going on but definitely pay attention to those people in your life as i mentioned before and i hope that you guys are having a good day surrounded by positivity and good things and i will talk to you later for the time being um for the time being wolf is actually being pretty good on his walk he's not pulling he's nosy but he's not pulling so he's doing really good i'm proud of him but anytime you give him a compliment he he shows his ass right after so i thought i'd let you guys see him while he's being good